What's up guys? Happy New Year's. Hope you guys have been enjoying the holidays. I've been uh, stuck here working, <laughs> but that's because my employees want it off. So we're still shipping orders out. Someone has to get things done. Uh, it's actually the 31st. Uh, what's today? It's Sunday because tomorrow, Monday is the new year. My guys just went uh, off to New York just to celebrate. They did that uh, last weekend for Christmas too. So I was stuck here finishing the orders and I'm <laughs> stuck here finishing the orders now, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, we missed a week because <laughs> we were banned. <laughs> so I wasn't able to show you guys the products. And when I was out in California getting that surgery for like two weeks, it wasn't like I was missing, I didn't feel like I was missing much at least because I wasn't here to see everything that was going on. And so me not being able to post those two weeks, the vlog or anything for me wasn't a big deal. Now though, that I'm down here every week seeing what's going on, showing you guys stuff, me just missing one week of, of products and everything is, it's a, at least for me, it's a pretty big deal because stuff does happen, uh, such as the ice cream. Some of you guys like the ice cream. Some of you guys emailed me, you didn't like it. So I investigated myself. I trusted the Amish kids. I thought, I thought they, they tasted it and they said it was good. Long story short, ice cream wasn't that good. I didn't like it that much. Uh, so if you guys did not enjoy the ice cream, please let me know. We're gonna make a, a new fresh batch next week and we'll send you out a free replacement if you did not like it. They just used too much milk. They didn't put enough sugar in it. So although since the ingredients were really high quality, it still tasted pretty good. It had like complexity and depth of flavor. It just, it wasn't sweet enough and the texture wasn't correct. And the chocolate didn't really have enough chocolate. So I, I do wanna apologize to you guys that the ice cream was not as good. We already sold so much that I was like, what do I do? But again, if you guys got the ice cream, you weren't happy about it. Uh, it's just weird to me because some people liked it, some people didn't, you know, it's not like it was like it not that bad. So uh, we should have it fixed next week with the new recipe. If not, we'll just issue you guys refunds. Ah, uh, what else is new? I guess please order the duck and chicken egg separately, at least um, moving forward, I think we're going to have to because our, our duck egg farmer is putting his eggs in our new containers and the chicken egg farmer is putting his eggs in the new container. So our duck eggs and chicken eggs are coming to us separate. We can't combine them anymore, but that's not that big of a deal. I think we can ju just address that on an order by order basis. Friendly reminder, guys, we do have the order minimum. So if you're not placing $100 for most of the U.S. or like $130 for, East, uh, for West Coast, Please at least do that because then we can't ship the order. We're literally going to lose money. Alaska and Hawaii shipping is now available. I think it's a flat rate like $20 or $25. I've gotten a few emails here and there of people in Alaska and Hawaii wanting to buy from us. But guys, please try to order at least like $200 worth of stuff. Because even then, if we're shipping to Alaska or Hawaii, even if it is $200, I think we're still breaking even. So just keep that in mind. But I did want to get you guys... Uh, some food because we did have a few requests over the past year. Uh, the turkeys are still available. Buy one, get one free discount on the turkeys. I guess maybe we'll show those in the freezer, but it's a great deal because if, if you spend $160 on a huge 18 pound turkey, you're getting a whole other turkey. So it, it comes out to a very, very low price for the high quality meat. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else to tell you guys. I forgot to make my Skeletor joke. Saying I look like Skeletor. If you guys don't know who Skeletor is, look him up. That'll have to be my Halloween costume next year if things keep going the way they're going. But yeah, the problem is that Christmas and New Year's are both falling on a Monday, which means that all the shipping stuff is closed on Monday. So we have to get all the orders out Tuesday ASAP. Otherwise they might get delayed and we might have some issues. What I'm more worried about, which I shouldn't because it's a year away, is next year I think it falls on a Tuesday which is even worse. We might not be able to ship, but I don't, I don't know. That's, that's really rough. Because if the holidays are on a Tuesday, then that means that you really shouldn't ship Monday because they're gonna be held Tuesday. But if you ship Wednesday, it's too late. But we'll worry about that next year. Uh, problem is this year, I have to get all of these orders done and ready to pa pack out by Tuesday, but my guys aren't here. Because normally they work pretty much every day. They work Sunday and Monday. But since they're off Sunday, Monday, and you guys are still gonna be placing orders, I have to do it myself in the freezer, which I mean, I used to do it myself. So let's do a quick look around inside here, and then I'll show you guys the freezer. On organ supplements, we do have the whey protein powder back available. Uh, this also means we should have the best bar very soon. Frankie's Naturals, we got a few new products. One is the 
uh, regular conditioner. So this is for normal hair and we did previously just have conditioner for curly hair. So now you can get conditioner for uh, regular hair and we should have shampoo for regular hair too. Because we were selling curly hair shampoo and curly hair conditioner because it was all they had. But now we're gonna have regular. Uh, the regular shampoo should come next week. And something also new is just some, some hair styling gel. We have this in very small tubes that are affordable as well as some bigger tubes. Uh, in comparison to the hair pomade, you know, this is a gel. We have the Frankie's Naturals pomade, which is really, really strong, whole, and kind of hard to get in and take out. This is more of your typical water-soluble hair styling gel. On the foods over here, I think the main new product is the cream of wheat that I showed you guys in the, in the vlog, or the few videos we did over the weekend. We restocked some ghee. We restocked some molasses. I think we got like salt and pepper macadamia nuts or something, but for the most part, uh, no new products, just uh, all the regular stuff. Vanilla extract is new. I think I showed you guys the other week. We got vanilla extract and vanilla bean powder. Got to restock some more of that as well next week. So that's like the distributor side of the foods. Our side of the foods, we restocked the meat granola here. We were sold out for a little while, so that's back. We have the quinoa crisp bars, plenty of those. And then we also have granola bars. Oh no, these are the granola bars. So previously we were selling the granola bars like the big bricks, but now we have the two ounce chocolate chip granola bars available in like a normal size. And the, the quinoa crisp are also back available up there. So now we have pemmican, we have granola bars, we have quinoa crisp. Uh, there's still a small amount of the, the larger pemmican available, but we're gonna move away from those. We did run out of the Tatomi's cookies. We might have time to make those next week. Yeah, we're missing the Tatomi's cookies and the best bars now. Those are the main two things we're missing. All the biltong beef stuff is in stock. You know, we got the beef sticks, the spice biltong, the plain biltong. All the artisanal products came in the other week. The wildflower and orange honey. We got the artichokes, all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, without the holiday, we would have had like 100% everything finished, but uh, it's whatever. So here in the fridge, we just have everything ready to ship out Tuesday of this week. So today is Sunday night now. We have all the dairy ready. We have all the kefir, buttermilk just came in fresh. This is all the other dairy products like the heavy cream, the sour cream, the yogurt, cottage cheese, A2 farmer's cheese. I think this is the last week we're doing the free butter because I'm, I mean, I'm going broke with this butter, guys. Uh, I was trying to help the Amish farmer out. Yeah, because they told me it was going to be around $1,500 a week worth of butter to help them out. And now they're sending me like $3,000 worth of butter a week, which I can't afford. So, uh, whatever. Uh, this is a fresh batch of pickles we finished last week. We have some pickle juice. And although we did run out of the sauerkraut, we have some sauerkraut. Oh, that's the key for grains. Uh, sauerkraut juice is under here. We do have some sauerkraut juice available, but we are sold out of sauerkraut. Ginger lime water kefir's back in stock. We got some apple lemon. There's some orange. I think this is plain. This is grape. All the flavors of water kefir, pineapple, pretty much all the flavors are available right now. I might have showed you guys this last week, I don't remember, but we made a fresh batch of the raw cookie dough. You guys bought all of it. All the cheeses are in stock. And we got a little too many eggs. Yeah, last year there was like a big jump in egg sales in January, so my farmer's anticipating that, otherwise we're gonna have to tell him to chill out on the eggs. Just hop in the freezer. Yeah, my guys did most of the orders ready for Tuesday, but there's still a lot that I have to do. Oh, here's the duck meat, so we got some whole ducks in. Uh, they should be ready in the middle of January. Corn and soy free, pasture raised whole ducks. They're, they're not like meat ducks, so there's not a crazy amount of meat on them, but uh, we'll figure out the price for those because of that. We also, like this is the, the unhatched egg inside of it. It has like a thicker membrane, it's just the yolk. And then these are just some, some duck organs. So every week we pretty much get in a fresh batch of the best burger blend. Very affordable, $11 a pound for basically ground up steak is a great price. We got all of the, the meat stocks and meat broths available. 
the collagen broth, the beef, the beef stock concentrate. We got chicken broth. There's beef barley soup down there. There's the beef in the bone broth, and then there's the chicken in the bone broth. Up here, we just have some, I think there's beef shanks up here. Uh, this is London broil, which we restocked, the top round. So that's London broil. This is some, some chuck stew meat. Chuck stew meat. Got some sirloin steaks over here, tenderloin steaks. Uh, this is all the Wagyu stuff. Kind of running low on some Wagyu steaks. That's bone and ribeye. More Wagyu steaks. Veal liver is restocked. Angus beef burgers restocked. Uh, those are the porterhouse steaks. Running a little low. Plenty of all the chicken. We have way too much chicken. Over here, this is uh, beef tendon. A lot of beef tendons. I showed you guys the other week, we have the, the new pork sausages are available. The plain Iberico pork sausage, the breakfast pork sausage. Over here, this is just some ground chicken breast. Uh, we restocked the veal testicles, which we ran out of. Over here are the uh, one pound beef shanks. Oh, well, this is 1.5 pound. So we have like one and a half pound shanks available, one pound shanks available. And we should have the, the whole shanks, the big like presentable ones next week or the week after. It's just some beef pancreas. Still a decent amount of fish left. We have halibut, cod, and salmon. These are lamb burgers. That's the beef liverwurst. These are the lamb rib chops. Very affordable for what you're getting. Rack of lamb is back too. Same with the lamb shoulder chops. That's all that's left of the pork chair, just a few pieces of ham, so we're sold out. We still have some chocolate ice cream, but as I said, guys, it's might have to send it back. Big restock on the beef heart, one pound beef heart. And we also restocked lamb kidneys. They might be on the other side. Finally got some bison back. You guys have been missing the ground bison. And I think the venison Denver steaks. Yeah, venison Denver steaks are back too. Still have some prime ribs available. Overstocked a little bit for the holiday. Yeah, we just restocked all the one pound lamb kidneys. These are tiny, very cute little lamb kidneys. All right, my hands are about to, uh, to get frostbite. So <laughs> uh, we're gonna get out of here. Gonna put my gloves on later. So the other major things are, we still have that organic 8515 ground beef at a very low price. It's like 750 a pound, and then you know if you're applying a 15% discount to that, you're basically paying like six dollars a pound for ground beef. We're basically giving it away, but we got a good price on it, so we'll relay that to you guys. And there was also a price reduction on the New York strip steak. So the, the New York strip package was like. $140 or something now it's $115 so the ribeye and strip used to be around the same price now the New York strip is is a lot more affordable it's a lot cheaper I don't know how long that's gonna last but uh, I figured I would mention it for you guys if you're trying to save a little money on some steaks I mean ribeye tastes better but it's each his own I like ribeye more tender and stuff there's probably a few more restocks that I missed but what we do guys is we send out a weekly email on Saturday or Sunday free range meet weekly where I explain hey this is this is everything that's new this week this is everything uh, we're restocking these are all the sales on the discounts this is the special promotion uh, so there are a few things like on the foods website like in that email I would mention like all the stuff on the meat website and they'd be like oh hey we got in uh, we restock some bars on the foods we have the pickles available now Why are we gonna sell tissues on Frankie's Naturals? Yeah, I didn't think I would have to work until like 6 p.m. today, but if I don't, uh, if I don't get these orders done, we're not gonna get everything sent out on Tuesday, and that means I gotta come back tomorrow and work too. I think I told you guys today's the 31st Sunday, tomorrow's the first Monday, so. But I did the same thing on Christmas. I worked Christmas Eve and Christmas because no one was here. Anyway, our camera does not appear to be fogging up, so I'll have to wait to read the reviews. 
And there's like two there's like two weeks worth of reviews here because we missed the vlog last week. So I'll try to be kind of brief and quick. Five star review for the pasture raised Iberical pork ribeye chop. One of the best pork chops I've ever had. This is a superb product. It was tender, juicy, and flavorful. I kept the seasonings and cooking simple, so I just get the flavor of the meat fantastic. They don't need much fussing. I already ordered a few more because I think they're going to be a staple in my freezer. Yeah, the Iberico pork's a really special product. Uh, we, I found another supplier that has like the cured products, which I'm, I'm testing out right now. I might get them, but they're kind of expensive, and I don't know if you guys will like them or not. Um, like, like the hams, the loins, they cure them, salt them and stuff. I mean, technically, like when you talk about Iberico pork, that's what is known as Iberico pork, like the, the salted cured ham. Five star view for the chicken eggs. Best eggs I've ever had. I'm going to place another order. Yeah, I'm glad you guys have been enjoying the eggs. Uh, when, when you're buying the eggs, when you're buying the dairy, most of the meat products, you're su really supporting the local Amish farmers and, and the money's going in the hands of the right people. Uh, and you guys haven't seen the new egg packaging yet, which should be a week or two away. So you're not gonna have to take as much bubble wrap off, but we'll see how you guys like it. Another review for the chicken eggs. First time buyer, please end surprise, they actually arrive safe and intact. Even at my local store, that is an issue. Thanks, and the eggs are gorgeous, cooked and taste better than any I bought before. We'll purchase this again, yeah. Yeah, and even if you guys have any issues with the eggs, we always issue a refund. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about the freezer is my nose drips like crazy. Another review for the eggs. Great eggs. These eggs are delicious and reasonably priced. They were packaged well and none were damaged in shipment. I will continue to purchase them. I'll probably double my order next time. This is uh, on the Frankie's Naturals. Five star review for the remineralizing tooth powder. The best. It really is the best. I've tried it all. Yeah, there's something special about the, the magnesium, the K2 and stuff being applied directly on the teeth. It definitely makes a difference. Another Naturals review. Very good for curly hair and natural shampoo. I unfortunately did not read the bottle correctly and ordered this. It is for curly hair. Frank obviously stocked it for his nappy head. Still, it is a great product. I have long straight hair, but after using this, it is as wavy as can be. Wild. I continue to use it as I'm cheap and don't want to waste any products, no matter the outcome. It has a nice smell, no lather, produces a great shine, cleans the scalp and hair. Highly recommend for curly locks, but not for straight hair. Frank gets Frank get a straight hair natural shampoo. Yeah, I mentioned earlier, we should be getting a straight hair natural shampoo next week. Um, I honestly don't know if my hair is curly or wavy. Um, when it's dry in the summer, my hair has been naturally curly, uh, but that shampoo makes it like more consistently curly. Because sometimes like when I take a shower and it just gets wet, it's kind of like weighed down. All right, we are back to meat. Five star review for the bone marrow butter. How oh, do you guys hear that? I hate this freaking heater, man. Let me turn it off. Yeah, that gets really annoying when I'm trying to work here. It has blown everything all over the place. Five star review for the grass-fed bone marrow butter. I can't believe it's not butter. Actually, I can believe it's not butter. It's so much better than butter and it's amazing that you can get two pounds of it all at once. I put it on steaks, burgers, eggs, you name it. Fast and friendly shipping and speaking of butter, Frankie threw in a freebie of the A2 butter, so delicious. Yeah, I'm surprised they had that product. So if you guys are used to like buying marrow bones for the marrow, we have both the marrow bones and we have the pure marrow you can buy, which is more affordable per pound, but it's like, it's in bulk. It's kind of a large amount of marrow to use at once. Uh, this is on the foods website. We got a five star review for the water kefir grains. Love them. I used to purchase the grains on Amazon, but they didn't look healthy. The ones I buy from here are amazing. They looked healthy and the kefir they make taste delicious. Yeah, these are fresh grains. Uh, it, it's only like five fifty or six dollars or something a jar right now, which is comically low. I bet you for that amount of grains, for eight ounces of grains on Amazon, I bet you'd have to pay at least double or triple the price. Five star review for the artisan malt vinegar. Impressive, wide flavor profile, warm vanilla hints, love it. Yeah, I honestly didn't think you guys would go for that uh, that barley malt vinegar, but you guys buy all of it every time, so I'll keep it. And we got a five star review for the pasture raised chicken breast. Yum, much better than what is sold at health food store. The so-called chicken at the health food store in my area is said to be organic and pasture raised, yet it was questionable. So I stopped eating chicken after buying from Frankie. I was eating chicken again. Yeah, yeah. I mean, ever since the grass-fed pasture raised movement ha has been popular these past few years, you have a lot of farmers that are just selling their same meat but saying it's pasture raised or grass-fed, which is technically not illegal or wrong from a marketing perspective. But they're not offering a genuine, high-quality product. Like, I've even seen vendors attempt to sell corn and soy free chicken and then they take it off. It's, I've seen some very sketchy stuff. 
I've seen vendors completely change. Like they said they were selling fresh meat and then they suddenly remove it from their website or they say they're selling pasture raised pork and then they just suddenly change it. So you gotta be careful. Grassford roast beef, five star review. Very good, simple and delicious, cooked to a perfect pink, seasoned minimally, which is perfect because the beef is so fresh and tasty. The price point is high for how much of this I could go through. My body digests it very quickly. I think it's about the same price as the supermarket, guys. If you go to if you go to buy roast beef in the supermarket, you're paying over twenty dollars a pound, and we're charging that for grass fed, which is kind of unheard of. Uh, honestly, we would be able to reduce the price a little bit on the roast beef if you guys bought it all every week. But the problem is, like, one week if you guys only buy half of it, like that's factored into the price of the roast beef, which is really bad. Like, because we lose half the roast beef one week that. That makes up, that would make up for like three or four weeks of profit, which is horrible. But five star review for the organic raw cookie dough. Delicious, made the best cookies I've ever had by far. They were so good. I got family members and coworkers at work to try them, and they all love them. Not one person said they were not great. I hope they restock soon. We did restock the cookie dough for you guys. They'd be great for Christmas and New Year's. Another stellar product by Frank Tufano. All the best. Yeah, the new products and being creative and stuff keeps me going, guys. But uh. Has not been an easy few years. Five star review for the wild caught salmon caviar roe fish eggs. The taste is impeccable. Nothing close to me in the marketplace comes compares to this product. I can and usually eat the whole thing, even though I try saving some for later days just to save money. I feel fertile and have caught more women staring at me <laughs> after I eat the salmon. All right, buddy. <laughs> I'm going to read that again. I feel fertile and have caught more women staring at me right after when I eat the salmon. All right, maybe I need to eat some salmon eggs. <laughs> I've tried these and the sturgeon, and I still prefer these. Honestly, sturgeon may taste slightly better, but bang for buck, I'll keep reordering these. You guys are funny. You guys are funny. Is that what I'm missing, bro? I just need to eat caviar every day, and then I'll have six foot tall Russian girls tying me down. By the way, for the amount of money, I, I forgot to mention the disabled giveaway earlier. For the amount of money I gave away, bro. The amount of Russian girls I could have got. It's, I did the right thing, though. Uh, there are still, I think, seven or eight spots left. I think, I think we gave away $25,000 so far. Um, my emails have been kind of dry lately, so I did want to mention... If you guys know any disabled, if you guys are a customer of mine, if, you, if you're disabled, if you know any disabled people, mentally disabled, children, blind people, there's still some s spots available. I'll have to mention that at the beginning of the next vlog if we don't have any more people. It's kind of crazy how, because there's so many disabled people out there, yet I guess my, my customer base and my reach isn't as, uh, as great as I thought it would be. It's, fu it's funny because... <laughs> I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there at my computer, writing checks to these people, and I'm looking up and seeing how I'm banned. I get banned on YouTube. This crazy world we live in. Crazy world we live in. Five star review for the vitamin K2. This is on the organ supplements. Liver and gut health improved. Taking zinc or selenium was too hard on my liver, despite being deficient. Once I started supplementing K2, my liver functions much better, and I'm now benefiting from the zinc selenium supplementation when taken alongside the K2. I am now having much more healthy cell bio movements. Uh, Damien, I would also try some magnesium. High, high dose magnesium with that. This is some more reviews. Five star review for the chocolate chip granola bar. I'm not even a big granola guy, but this stuff smacks. I saw Frankie was going to make smaller versions of these as well, but I just hope he doesn't stop with the big bricks. I'll reorder as soon as when they're back inside. Well, sorry, buddy. No more big bricks. <laughs> we got the regular granola bars now. You guys bought most of them. You got a five star review for the Iberico pork bacon. Have not had anything like it. Best bacon ever. Yeah, it's really high quality. I really love the Iberico pork. Totally changed my perspective on pork. It's one. Of, it's my favorite meat now. <laughs> and, and and no offense to to people of uh, that don't like pork, certain religions, but dude, the like if you're gonna eat goat and lamb meat and then say pork is unclean, like come on, dude, goat goat has to be the most disgusting thing I've ever tasted in my life. Goat meat, dude. You're gonna eat goat meat and tell me I can't eat pork? It's like, come on, what are you doing? Like, this is disgusting. I'd rather if I would if I was starving to death in, in a in a cold environment, and I had a lean goat to eat, I would just rather eat snow and, and starve to death. Like, by the way, our, all of our meat is halal. We do sell some goat meat. 
Uh, we got a five star review for the A2A2 raw butter. Amazing, you can't find butter like this anywhere. We moved from the city to the country and tasted butter like this from friends who truly cared about how they raised their animals. We've been in cities for the last couple years and butter from the stores tastes like nothing. We're so happy to have this butter in our home. We bought 10 pounds and we don't regret it. Yeah, we try to get you guys a better price on the butter, but um, hey, look, as soon as you guys uh, are well with your continued support eventually when I have my own farm, then uh, maybe we'll be able to make the price even better. Another review for the eggs. These are the eggs you need. Eggs that are pasture-raised, GMO, corn, and soy-free can be hard to find, but thankfully, I've got Frankie. The Yolks are a rich orange color. They taste great and fill you up. 12 dozen arrived so far, not so much as a crack on any of the eggs. Can't wait to place another order soon. Uh, another review for the water kefir grains. Stuff is even better than the water kefir. I am up. I try to eat a teaspoon of this every other day, combined with a starchy meal. Definitely makes my colon smell different in a very good way. <laughs> you guys are giving me way too much details. Tell me, tell me, girls, girls are looking at you and smelling your colon. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> Definitely too much information, but the stuff is phenomenal quality and helps me immensely with my digestive help. All right, buddy. Glad I can help. <sighs> you guys, you guys drive me crazy. April left a five-star review for the oven roasted turkey breast. So freaking yummy. Frankie boy is really on to something with these pre-cooked meats. I ended up finishing the entire pack of turkey at once, dipped in some horseradish mustard. No junk, just gentle, pure, delicious flavoring that I can fully trust. So grateful for the products being provided here. I've been purchasing regularly for three or four years now, and I won't stop. Hey, I'm glad you guys like the products. I've been trying to find organic horseradish, but it doesn't really exist. So I got an email from someone asking to cancel an order because they, they thought that the Christmas order was going to arrive warm because it got held over the weekend, but the order ended up arriving completely frozen still. So the meat wasn't bad, but then we, we, we shipped out the other order they placed. So they doubted us. They doubted us. They thought $400 worth of meat was going to arrive bad. So they placed another order and expected us to give them the money back. And then the order came good. And then we couldn't cancel the second order. So, hey, in the colder weather, guys, even if the package is delayed, it's it's very unlikely it's going to be warm. Got another review for the A2A2 raw butter. Best quality of butter I've had so far in the States. Literally one of the freshest butter I've had in the States. It tastes like cheese. I eat it raw and have no breakouts. The quality is incredible. I didn't know this is what butter is supposed to taste like. It's like eating a coconut from a tree. does not get any fresher. The price is more expensive, I must admit, and it would be hard to consume it on the daily, but the quality is definitely up there. I mean, I don't know how much butter you're eating, but even if you paint, I mean, our butter is the same price as all the other raw butter online, but it's not like something you're going to eat a ton of. We got a five-star view for the water kefir. Phenomenal stuff. I can finally digest food using this stuff. Had stomach surgery like seven years ago because I was morbidly obese. Pretty much can't digest food for the rest of my life, and this water kefir combined with the micronutrient enzymes is an absolute lifesaver. Yeah. Uh, having having the enzymes and the water key for throughout your small intestine and stuff it is literally going to break the food down for you. I mean, me with my liver damage and stuff, I haven't been digesting food either. The something else that can really help a lot is B1, B1 for the carbohydrate digestion. Yeah, that's all the reviews. Hopefully, I didn't uh, bore you guys to death. I think that was like 10, 15 minutes. Well, that should be it for the vlog this week, guys. Uh, we don't have any crazy big orders coming in this week. So, granted, I do a little work, a few hours of work today and tomorrow myself. We should be able to send all the orders out, meat, eggs, foods, by Wednesday. So Tuesday, most of the meat orders are going to go out, and then Wednesday we'll finish the eggs and the foods. And then uh, since we're not having, like, I don't know if I said it, no crazy big shipments coming in, uh, should be able to get caught up on everything else. Like, we should be able to make the best bars, we might be able to make the Tatomi cookie bars. We might be able to even make some uh, more sauerkraut, jardiniera, and uh, and some other stuff for you guys. Uh, next few weeks, I'm looking forward to... The fresh beef might be back this week. This weekend, we might have the fresh beef back. Um, and then the next two weeks, we're going to have the collagen sausage back and some hot dogs and maybe a new fresh pork share in. So I'm excited for those few things. Uh, not as excited as I should be because... Uh, these people are overcharging me for the meat, and I think I'm breaking even. But hey, look, when I when I uh, when I retire to Italy with my five Russian girls, 
in six months and the Amish are wondering where Frank went and now they don't have a customer, hey, go, go figure. Maybe, maybe they should have gave me a slightly better price, right? Anyway, uh, I'm going to... I'm gonna wrap this up, guys, and go and, and do a little work so I don't get out of here too late. But uh, as always, thank you guys for joining. frank com. you can see all of my uh, creative and unique businesses. Everything on there, guys. Most affordable prices online for everything for the most part. And uh, I'll see you guys soon.